When you think of the best relievers in baseball, you think of guys like Josh Hader, who's had an incredible season this year. Too bad it's on a crappy Padres team. Devin Williams on the Brewers is filthy. He's having a great year. Yoan Duran of the Twins throws harder than anybody. Andres Munoz throws fire too. Felix Bautista on the Orioles. There's just a lot of nastiness to go around, obviously. With that said, there are some guys who are also incredibly nasty, and nobody talks about or really seems to ever acknowledge them. Where will you find these guys? Down in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're part of the 70% of viewers not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button and join the wonderful subscribers of the channel, as the Tampa Bay Rays have such an effective way of developing pitching. They seem to make greatness out of nothing when it comes to pitchers. I'm convinced they can pick up some random dude on the side of the road at 2pm and have him throwing 97 with a nasty changeup by 7pm. That's just how they roll there, I guess. The only big criticism I have of the Rays and how they handle pitching, and again, it's a big criticism, is that they can't keep them healthy. Now, yes, elbow issues for pitchers and Tommy John surgery runs rampant among the entire league, but it seems like it happens with the Rays maybe more than anybody. As of recently, the Rays have had eight pitchers undergo Tommy John surgery since 2020, and that was before their ace, Shan McClanahan, had to make the decision to go under the knife, so make it nine. It's a real issue that seems to be going on with the Rays keeping their guys healthy, but leaving that aside, they have an incredible system in place for developing pitching and getting the most out of their arms. Jake Diekman is a guy who was absolutely abysmal for the Chicago White Sox this season, pitching to an ERA near 8 to kick off 2023, soon being outright released from the team. And it's not like last year was any better for him. He had a 5 ERA in 2022. He's now 36 years old. The dude's clearly cooked, right? Well, that's when the Rays took a flyer on him, picking him up a few days after his release by the White Sox, and shocker, he's actually been really good with the Rays. Like I said, he had an ERA of about 8 with the White Sox. Since signing with the Rays, Diekman has appeared in 41 games, thrown 37 in a third innings, all with a 2.65 ERA. Kevin Kelly was a 19th round draft pick by Cleveland back in 2019, and he hasn't necessarily been anything special in the minor leagues. In December of 2022, though, Kelly was picked up by the Rockies in the Rule 5 draft because he was left off of Cleveland's 40-man roster, and was then traded that same day to the Rays for cash considerations, going on to actually make the Rays opening day roster, and he's been really good for them this year. In 50 games, he's thrown 56 innings with a 3.38 ERA, striking out 46 hitters. Nothing crazy or like monumental, but he's been a good reliever for this team. Zach Eflin, someone the Rays signed before the season, currently has the lowest ERA of his career this season with Tampa. Robert Stevenson. Ever heard of him? Exactly, I know you haven't, but after being terrible for the Pittsburgh Pirates to kick off 2023, he was traded to the Rays and has been good for them since, currently putting up the best numbers of his career with them. And that brings us to perhaps the most underrated reliever in all of baseball this season. And of course, most of you have probably never even heard of him. His name is Sean Armstrong. Sean Armstrong was an 18th round draft pick all the way back in 2012 by Cleveland, has since bounced around to several teams including the Rays, left them to join the Marlins, before finding his way back with the Rays, put up decent numbers for them in 2022, but was actually put on the 60 day injured list in April of 2023 because of a neck injury, not coming back until June. He's a 32 year old former 18th round draft pick with a neck problem. Sounds perfect, so naturally he's a Tampa Bay Ray and he's incredible. And by incredible, I mean he's quite literally been the best reliever in baseball this season, at least he's up there. He's appeared in 30 games, thrown 43 and two thirds innings, has struck out 47 hitters while only walking eight. He's allowing less than a runner on per inning, has a 0.82 ERA at the time of me recording this video, and he also can last a little longer than most relievers out there on the mound. In 16 of his 30 appearances this year, and I'm not good at math, but I know that's more than half of the time, Sean Armstrong has pitched more than an inning in his outing. In 12 of those 16 outings that lasted more than an inning, they consisted of him pitching at least two innings. So not only is he nasty, but he also gives the Rays some durability out there to help get to the other back-end relievers of the bullpen. The Rays are just simply at it again when it comes to pitching, playing chess while most of the rest of the league is playing Jenga. Now again, they do have some issues with keeping these arms healthy, and it's a scary trend that's been going on, but you cannot deny that the Tampa Bay Rays know how to develop pitching and turn no names into impactful and valuable pitchers. Let me know what you think, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.